Hi, welcome to the self-learning series for Control M workload automation products. My name is Brian Looney and I'm a senior technical support analyst for Control M distributed systems. This is a series of self-learning videos that are designed to help you with your day-to-day task with Control M. Enterprise Manager uses an open architecture standard to communicate named CORBA. CORBA is an abbreviation for Common Object Request Broker Architecture. Control M uses CORBA to communicate between client components and EM server processes, such as the Configuration Management Server, known as the CMS, Control M Desktop, Enterprise Manager GUI, and the Command Line XML Utilities, which we refer to as the CLI Utilities. The CORBA acts as a lookup point for EM server to define resources such as a GUI server, Global Alert server, Batch Impact Manager, etc. Enterprise Manager implements CORBA through three major components the naming service, the EM server components, and the EM client components. The naming service acts as a repository where resources are located in the network. Think of it as a DNS server for CORBA resources. Both EM clients and the EM server components register within the naming service. EM server components are also CORBA clients. These objects offer services to the EM GUI clients. EM client components use the naming service to locate resources and to register so that EM components may update them asynchronously. Running Orbitmin NS list on the EM server or EM clients will show you a listing of the CORBA database. In this example, the machine monkey is running the naming service in port 13,075. This is the port which the EM client components connect to get a listing of the CORBA database. For the components like the GAS, the CMS, and GUI server entries, the endpoints show the port that the individual components are listening. These are the server resources which are actually listening for incoming connections. In this example, you'll see that the GAS has an endpoint on Monkey of port 39,667. Let's review the lifecycle of the Enterprise Manager client communicating with the Enterprise Manager server. At the heart of the CORBA is the naming service. In this example, the naming service is listing on port 13075. When a EM resource such as the GUI server starts up, it actually registers within the CORBA. So in this case, the port of 50745 that the GUI server is listening on gets registered in the CORBA, which you saw earlier in the, NS, in the Orbit Min NS list. All the other additional server components register in, in the naming service just the same. When you start a client utility such as the GUI client, it reaches out and talks to the CORBA naming service on 13075 and looks for the resource it needs. In this case, that's the GUI server, which it finds the port 50745. It then initiates a connection directly to the GUI server to handle its request.